Well, how do you shift it in the civic, in the political sphere, in the sense that we're in an election year where you have that typical fight um, between people who talk about fairness, people who talk about growth, and yeah. the growth folks, particularly on the Republican side, said well, the way you get growth is you allow profits to congregate, yes. you, you don't restrict business, you deregulate industry. Yes. That's how we have a future. That's right. And and those economic ideas, the neoclassical economic idea and the trickle-down economics policy framework that people derive from that turn out to be totally and completely wrong. Tax cuts don't lead to growth. Investments in the middle class do. So, so growth in a technological capitalist economy are the, con are the consequence, is the consequence rather, of and of a feedback loop between increasing amounts of innovation and increasing amounts of demand, which means that um, the, the more people you include more robustly as consumers, workers, entrepreneurs, inventors in the economy, the better it goes. Mm -hmm. And what that means is a thriving middle class is the source of growth in a technological capitalist economy, not an effect of it, not a consequence of it which means that raising the minimum wage isn't bad for capitalism, even though it may inconvenience a few capitalists in mm -hmm. particular, it's indispensable to capitalism. A thriving middle class is the source of growth in a technological capitalist economy, not a consequence of it. And once you see it that way, now you realize that a lot of our policies are upside down, right? I mean, the most pernicious thing about trickle-down economics is not the belief that if the rich get richer, that will be good for the economy. The most pernicious thing is believing, as so many people do, that if the poor get richer, that will be bad for the economy, which is literally what the Republicans are claiming, that we should eliminate the minimum wage and somehow this will be good for everybody. <laughs> it's like, it is, you know, the claim that if wages grow, employment will shrink is as idiotic as claiming that if plants grow, animals will shrink. I mean, it's ludicrous. Of course, that's not how the world works.